It's obviously designed as a building. And it's even got a rain drip. It was obviously designed by an architect. And who but Christopher Wren was the architect of the period. And it's quite likely that these early clocks were all designed by Christopher Wren or Robert Hooke. Um, because their architectural features and their classical architecture, the flaming urn finials, the Corinthian capitals, the uh, twisted columns, the bases, the swags, they're, they're all classical features from classical buildings from uh, Greek Roman temples. And here they are in a clock made in London. The capital is in three parts with the lower arcanthus leaf, the middle arcanthus leaf, and then the, the top of the capital braised together. And then it has been chased and then gilded with uh, a fire gilding with mercury in the gold to leave this beautiful three part uh, capital showing all the re-entrance and interstices um, of the highest quality. It's also made in olive wood, and all the, the light brown, uh, browny green wood here is olive wood. And there's no furniture with olive wood at this period. It all occurs later. And so this is a statement that it is the latest technology, and it has different wood to show off. The olive wood consists of oysters, and that's a branch which is cut through at an angle um, to give a lozenge-shaped uh, piece of uh, veneer. And the veneer is then placed on the dial, on the side, on the back of the clock. And then the detail is picked out with these lovely stringers of ebony. And the uh, the columns are ebonized, that's uh, from a softwood um, pear or apple, and then they're turned and then they're dyed and polished. So they look just like ebony. It's again an olive wood frieze with silk behind to let out the, the noise from the strike. And the influence of the Puritans had come right the way through for 50 years, that uh, black was everything. And so the early clocks tended to be in black cases. And here you've now got a change from the austere black to making a statement of beauty, of grace, of fine art uh, in this clock case. It's in olive wood complete change from the Puritan black.